Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm just going to read an article so you don't have to watch the screen. You can just pop this on and go do something else while you listen to this in the background. I came across this article posted today, October 5th, 2022, and I found it pretty interesting. Experts warn of new rat millet Android spyware targeting enterprise devices. I'll get more into why I think this is so cool later on. A novel Android malware called Rat Millet has been observed targeting a Middle, Middle Eastern enterprise mobile device by concealing itself as a VPN and phone number spoofing app. Now, those of you guys who have tried to register from the Middle Eastern have might have come across like some country restrictions where well, basically any country where you, if you register from somewhere, it might say you're not allowed to register from here um, and it might check that by your phone number sometimes. That's why those phone number spoofing apps can be very popular because it might seem like it's coming from a different phone number, not in that country, but from an allowed country. The mobile Trojan functions as advanced spyware with capabilities that receives and executes commands to collect and exfiltrate a wide variety of data from the infected mobile endpoint, as Imperium said in a report shared with the Hacker News. Evidence gathered by the mobile security company shows that the malicious app is distributed through the links on social media and communication tools like Telegram, tricking unsuspecting users into sideloading the app and granting it extensive permissions. Now, if you're watching and you're not really sure what sideloading is, Let's say that I give you an APK file and you install that on your device instead of downloading it from the official Google store where it can be checked, where everything is virus scanned, where everything is checked for malware. Site loading doesn't offer any of those protections. Granting extensive permissions is a second huge, huge mistake, of course, because as we'll see later on, some things got hacked and they got really badly hacked. The idea behind embedding the malware within a fake VPN and phone number spoofing service is also clever in that the app claims to enable users to verify social media accounts via phone, a technique popular in countries where access is restricted. Once, installation and <coughs> once installed and in control, the attacker could access the camera, take pictures, record video and audio, get precise GPS locations, view pictures from the device, and more, Superior researcher Nippon Gupta said. Here are some screenshots of that if you want to see. I'll put them in this article in the link description below as well, of course. Other features of Red Millet make it possible for the malware to amass SIM information, clipboard data, SMS messages, call logs, contact lists, and even perform file read and write operations. Extensive permissions, there we go. As you guys might know, apps are built with a more layered security model in mind where you have to grant it permission for literally every granular thing that the app wants to do. Well, if you grant it permission anyway, of course, because you think it's a VPN, it needs system access, bam, everything's leaked. Symperium hypothesized that the operators responsible for Red Millet acquired source code from an Iranian hacking group dubbed App Millet and, int and integrated it into a fraudulent app for distribu distributing it to unwitting users. The scale of infections is unknown, but the cybersecurity company said it detected the spyware during a failed compromise attempt of a customer's enterprise device. That makes this even worse, of course. This is enterprise data. These are people from a business with a business device that are sideloading these applications. Why are you allowing sideloading of applications as a business? Like, if you distribute devices, you're also partially responsible for your device management. A post shared on Telegram channel used to propagate the malware sample has been viewed over 4,700 times with more than 200 external shares, indicating a limited scope. That is at least some good news. The Red Millet spyware and the Iranian-based hacker group App Millet represent a changing environment impacting mobile device security. Richard Malik, director of mobile threat intelligence at Zimperium, said. And yes, of course, we've been noticing this everywhere, of course. 
we're moving into a more digital society where everything is becoming more mobile. And of course, those mobile devices become more open to infections as well, especially if we just allow permissions everywhere and sideload applications. Duh. <laughs> From Pegasus to Phone Spy, there's a growing mobile spyware market available through legitimate and illegitimate sources, and Red Millet is just one in the mix. So, really interesting article. If you guys found it interesting as well, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can watch it if you found the content interesting. Not that I added that much, but if you found this content interesting, if you want to grant me your subscription, I would be very, very appreciative. Thank you very much, my friends, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.